In this video, I'll show you how to make a photo pop out of a circle in Affinity. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the photo that I'll be using in the video description. Let's start by making a circle. I'll go over to the rectangle tool, and I'll click on the little arrow next to it to open up all of our shape tools. Then I'll select the ellipse tool. Now to make a perfect circle, make sure you hold shift as you click and drag. To position the circle, I have two tips. First, you can turn off snapping so that you can move the circle freely. And the second tip is to turn off the circle layer, but keep the layer selected. With the layer selected, you can still see the outline of the circle, but now it's not blocking the model. So as you move it around, you know exactly how this is going to look. I want to keep the model's face inside of the circle while leaving the top of her head here popping out. I think this is good positioning. So now that that's positioned well, I'll turn the circle layer back on. And now we can place the photo layer inside of the circle by clicking and dragging on the layer and placing it on top of the circle layer. When you release your cursor, you can see that the photo is now placed as a child layer, meaning that this is only showing up wherever the circle is. So with the model inside of the circle, this is a great start. But to create the pop-out effect, we're going to need another layer for the model's head to pop out of the circle. So for this other layer, I'm going to select our photo layer, and then I'll duplicate it with Command or Control J. I'll click and drag on this duplicate layer so that it's on top of all of our layers. And then to get the top of her head on this layer, I'm going to make a selection of it. So for this, I'm going to go over here to the Object Selection tool, and I'll click on the little arrow to open up these other tools, because I'm going to use the Selection Brush tool. So using this tool, you can adjust the size of your brush using the bracket keys. And I'm just going to click and drag to make a selection of the top of her head. It's okay if you select a little more than that, but make sure only her head is in the selection, not the sky. If you select too much, you can hold Alt or Option, and then Paint to remove from your selection. To make sure this is a really good selection, I'm also going to click Refine up in the Context toolbar. And then I'm going to paint on the edges of her head to make sure all of her hair is included nicely. Then I'll press Apply. And then I'll go over here to click on the mask to remove the rest of the picture. So I'll press Command or Control D to end my selection. And now you can see this layer is creating the pop-out effect. This looks so good, but to really make this effect pop, I have one last detail to add. I'm going to select the circle layer, and then I'll go to the layer effects. I want to add an outline going around the circle, so I'll raise the radius. And now you can see this is really making the pop-out effect stand out because the model's head is in front of this circle. But one problem that you might run into with this is you might see a little bit of white from the circle right here. There are two ways you can fix this. You can either change the alignment to the center. This just shrinks it in, covering that up. Or you can close out of this and with the circle layer selected, just remove the fill. Now that white line is gone. 
With that, we have a beautiful pop-out effect. I think this looks so good. If you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a link in the video description to my free affinity course. In the course, you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.